Hey everybody, David and David here from payitforward.com and upphone.com. And in this video, we're going to tell you about the best 5G cell phones for 2021. We kind of want to preface this video by saying we're not huge believers in 5G yet. The nationwide 5G coverage that Carrier's rolling out is not nationwide. It's also pretty slow. High band 5G, few urban areas, but not very useful. A few stadiums. And just to give you an idea of how far these signals actually go, it says that these 5G signals are only available in the lower sections of the stadium, not the nosebleeds. There you go. But fortunately, the mid-band 5G, which we think is going to be the most useful for the average user, they're starting to auction that off and that's going to keep happening into 2021. So maybe towards the tail end of 2021, some of these 5G features will actually be useful. Right. So let's dive into our list. Our number five phone is the Samsung Galaxy S20. This phone is maxed out. That was the whole point of this phone when Samsung came out with it. I think they thought we can beat Apple if we come out with some crazy, ridiculous specifications. Mm -hmm. So a 64 megapixel camera. We're recommending the lowest end model of this phone because the highest end model has a 108 megapixel camera. But for 5G, you don't need to pay that much money, and 64 is more than enough. 8K video recording, beautiful screen, mm -hmm. slick, small phone. It also has a 28-hour talk time battery life, but you need to think about how 5G really reduces battery life on cell phones. So these big numbers, we're using 5G a lot, you're not going to get that kind of battery life. I've used the S10 and I've used the S20. And for me, the S20 just doesn't feel as good as the S10 does in my hand. It just feels somewhat slightly cheaper. I think that's why it's number five on our list. Yeah, and the starting price for this phone, even though the specs are pretty maxed out, is only $9.99. It's a bit more reasonable than I was expecting as a starter price. Uh, but speaking of price, our number four phone is actually the Samsung Galaxy S20 FE. That stands for Fan Edition. Samsung wanted a 5G phone that had all the important features at a reduced price. And that's what the FE delivers starting at $699. Yeah, and the features that they're toned down on this phone are the camera. So 12 megapixel camera, it's a great camera still. It has a 32 megapixel front camera. I think it's the first phone I've ever seen that has more megapixels for the front camera than the back camera. It's got better battery life than the S20 5G, 32 hours as opposed to 28. Also has a 6.5 inch display, which is quite large. As 5G progresses forward, I think it's a good idea to get this phone instead of the S20, just because it's newer and 5G is so new, they're constantly optimizing the battery and the chips for the 5G networks. So I would choose this one over the S20. Yeah, and also if you're thinking about getting a 5G phone now, it might make more sense to go with a budget option because we're just not quite there yet in terms of 5G technology. So if you wanna kind of get your toes wet with 5G, go with a cheaper option as opposed to a high-end option because when 5G gets more widespread, the, uh, the phones are gonna be better, they're gonna be more expensive, and then you're gonna be doubling down on expensive phones. And our number three phone is the iPhone 12 Pro. It's a great phone. It's Apple's high-end model. One of the interesting things about the iPhone 12 Pro that I noticed as soon as I got it, since we're talking about 5G, let me take it out of the case. I got it and I looked on the side and on the side of the iPhone 12 Pro, there's this little window thing. And there's almost a hole in the case. This window is designed to expose the 5G antenna underneath because Apple couldn't optimize 5G enough to make the 5G signals go through the case of the phone, the high band 5G. It speaks to the range of 5G as not being, I mean, we, we've talked about a lot how the high band 5G just doesn't have great range. And this is like, they yeah. had to build a special window just to make it work. Yeah. Uh, so, but you have this phone, it's a good phone. Uh, three 12 megapixel rear cameras, has the MagSafe, which is pretty cool. Battery life, decent, but as we said, 5G again is gonna start reducing it. Mm -hmm. And the base model starts at $999, a little bit of expensive phone, but if you're, you want to spend $999, iPhone 12 Pro, we think that's better than the S20. Yes. Coming in second place is the Google Pixel 5. The Pixel 5 is, I believe, the only phone on our list that actually has a system on a chip design for 5G. So as 5G progresses, the chips get smaller and more power efficient. However, the system on a chip design that the Google Pixel 5 has is not as advanced as the 5G capabilities of all of the iPhone 12s. Yes, they have a separate chip for 5G. They have a separate modem, but that modem is more advanced. And actually, 
can handle about twice the bandwidth of the Google Pixel 5. That said, the Google Pixel 5 still can handle these ridiculously fast 5G speeds. It's like buying a car and driving this car on the highway and you're choosing to buy the one that can go 500 miles an hour instead of the one that can go 1,000 miles an hour. 500 miles an hour is more than fast enough. This phone has a 6.2 inch display, two rear cameras, one 16 megapixels, one at 12.2, 128 gigabytes of storage space. That's it, that's the only model you can get. So I know some people, they're starting to get it to one terabyte and people are buying those phones. I don't know who needs that much storage, but 128 gigabytes of storage, more than enough, up to 26 hours of battery life. And we also wanna mention that Google just announced the Pixel 4a 5G, uh, which will be a little bit cheaper. You actually get a deal on Verizon save $239 when you switch and sign up for a new unlimited plan. So it looks like a pretty good deal. Uh, but then once you start to do the math on that unlimited plan, it's not, not so great. Yes, there's no reason to take advantage of that offer. There's a reason they're giving it to you. Take a look at the prepaid plans. Yeah. They're a better deal. If you want to switch to Verizon, get the Google Pixel 5 5G, get a prepaid plan, five gigabytes and- Yeah, set to go. Call it a day. Yes. Our number one phone. 5G phone for 2021 is the iPhone 12 mini. This is an awesome phone. This is the iPhone 12 Pro. It has a 6.1 inch display, which is just like the iPhone 12. The 12 mini has the same specs, except the display is smaller. But 6.1 inches is really quite big and quite heavy. It's thicker than the iPhone XS, the iPhone 11 Pro. I personally like the size of the older phones a little better. This is getting a little big for me, a little blocky. The iPhone 12 mini is the smallest and lightest 5G phone in the world. It's a great phone. Yeah, it starts at $699 too, so it has that really good budget price if you're looking for a 5G phone and all the specs of the higher end iPhone models, which is best of both worlds there. Yeah, it's not like the processor is any worse. It does lack the third camera on the back. There are two cameras on this phone, but that's more than enough for most people. I think this is a great deal on a great phone that's gonna be compatible with 5G networks as far as any 5G phone is at this point into the future. Yep, links to all of these phones and more specs. You can find more information about all of them in the description section of this video. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below with any other questions and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more great videos about cell phones.